What is up? Express with 64 here, and I recently attended my first training show in a good minute. The pandemic really just shut down everything for a bit, and once everything started opening up, I was broke. But finally got my money right, and I decided I wanted to go see some trains. Had a good time seeing all the layouts and different types of engines, but the best part of all of it was what I bought. When it comes to life, there's nothing I love more than buying stuff I probably don't need, but it just makes me so happy. Like, y'all don't want to know how much V-Bucks I have spent in the past three or so years, okay? Anyways, once I was done looking around, I started going back to all the vendors and grabbing whatever caught my eye. So I just want to show off my haul and at the end I'll give you the total of everything so then y'all will know how much I damaged my wallet. So starting off with my first purchase, it was these Ertl coaches. Bought these as soon as I walked in, like literally just frame one. Instantly saw these and knew they had to be mine. Being a diecast user, there's like no coaches for us to use. Like I had to use a lot of tricks in my Gordon Ghost Forum remake. So I was glad to finally see some of these and I bought them alongside with a take and play Stanley. Love Stanley a lot and I've been in the market to get one. Now, I know I have a take along Stanley somewhere in my collection, but I haven't seen that dude in years. So he's probably dead. I don't know where he is, don't know where he could be, so I figured it isn't that much of an expense. I can I can bear to do with it. Funnily enough, I ended up going back to the exact same vendor later on that day. Surprisingly, there was only three Thomas vendors at the show. There was this dude, a Bachman seller, who was selling everything extremely marked up, and another we'll talk about later. When I went back to this dude, I ended up picking up some Ertl mail coaches. Again, like the previous ones, whenever I see items like these, I always have to cop. I also got a complete take-along breakdown train. Now, I do own one just like Stanley. I don't know where it is. I still do have the flatbed, which I use in a lot of videos, so having an extra one will be nice. I kind of felt bad taking the breakdown train because every kid who walked by seemed to be interested in it. That's kind of the main reason why I didn't buy them all at once and did two separate trips. I wanted to give all like the kids there a chance to get all the items they wanted before I came in. I was surprised to see that it had lasted throughout the entire day, so when I saw it at the end, I figured it was just meant to be. Train shows are a place where people should be able to buy whatever engines they want, and I didn't want to take that away from some kids, especially since they all seemed attached to this breakdown train. At the end of the day, no one bought it, so it came home with me. Next item I bought actually wasn't even a train related item, but it was a General Zod minifigure. There was a Lego vendor there, and of course I had to stop by. Now look, I'm not the biggest Man of Steel fan, but I don't got any Lego Superman villains, and Zod seemed like a cool addition. Pretty decent price, no armor, but hey, I'll take it. He wore it for like 5 minutes in the movie anyway, so it's not really a big letdown. Next up on the list is this station I bought. Every time I go to a train show, I always try to buy some sort of building to put in the background of my videos. For example, that signal box that I use in almost every shot I shoot, I bought at this exact train show years ago. I probably won't use this station for any Sodor locations, but there is a railway that operates on the mainland. Cool looking building, not even sure if it is a station, but I mean, kinda looks like it, so a station it will be. Now our final purchase of the day is this Adventures Diesel. Now I already own this guy, and unlike the other items I bought dupes of, I actually know where he is. I just needed an extra diesel for a custom I'm planning on making, and this one works perfectly. Honestly, I love this variant of the little guy, and I think more sh people should be talking about it. It's a pretty underrated toy to be honest. This is the other Thomas seller I was talking about, and they mainly had just a lot of recent Thomas stuff. They only had some take along stuff, but it was stuff I either already owned, or it was stuff missing parts. Like they had a duke tender, but no duke. Kinda disappointing since I don't have a take along duke in my collection, but I mean, I got an Ertl so that will have to do for now. And that is everything I bought at this train show. The final total comes down to $47. Honestly, 
I'd say I made out like a bandit. Anytime I can get some Ertles below 10 bucks, I'm a happy guy. Going into this thing, it made me remember why I love Thomas. Walking around made me realize how much love that blue puffball still gets around the world. I think the coolest moment of the whole event was when I was buying the mail cars, there was this dude standing next to me who seemed to be only a couple years younger than me. He reminded me of myself when I first came to this train show back in 2018, my first year on YouTube. He kept looking at me inspecting the items. I didn't mention this, but the seller was also selling an Ertl Daisy and Donald, both were in a hella good condition. I had the Daisy in my hand, but when I noticed the dude was looking at me, I just placed it down on the table and walked away to pay for myself. As I paid, I saw him from the corner of my eye pick up the Daisy and add it to his pile of stuff he was going to buy. In 2018, when I went to this train show, I bought my first Ertl. Funnily enough, I'm pretty sure this was the same vendor. I, I think it was him because he had the exact same layout. But it just made me happy that I could help create a core memory in this young collector's life like the one I created years ago. Thought that would be a fun little story to end this video off. Nothing too crazy. As a PSA to all of you watching at home, when you go to these events, be mindful and don't hog everything to yourselves. Make sure that you remember that there are kids going to these events and that to just share the wealth pretty much. And for the love of God, please, please wear deodorant. It isn't that hard. Well, this has been Expression64, signing out. Farewell.